Hello and welcome back and today I want to talk about Synology NAS and things you need to know before you buy. This is part of a four part series where we're going to talk about the main NAS brands that we talk about on the channel the most and when choosing between them I've compared this NAS against that NAS and more but today I want to focus on one specific brand. This is Synology and I think they are still one of the very best NAS brands in the entire spectrum of this area of the market but but they're not perfect for everyone. So although they are still one of my favorite brands out there, because of BTRFS, Synology, Hybrid, Raid, DSM, the mobile apps, all of the things that company has brought to the table. Today, I want to say five things that you need to know before you buy a Synology NAS. And don't worry, all the other brands are getting one of these. We're going to keep things as neutral as possible. But before you buy a Synology NAS, number one, you have to know that you are buying a system that is leveraged in terms of what you're, at least what you're paying on day one, a little bit more towards software than hardware. Synology is a brand that prioritizes its software very, very high. And, you know, to their credit, they still make some of the best applications available in the market today. Active Backup Suite, their virtual machine platform is squeaky clean as hell. Synology Moment, then you've got Synology Chat, Synology Calendar, all of those applications that can replace a number of third-party apps from the likes of Microsoft and Google in your operational environment. They have their own apps and therefore all of the data stays in-house. That's why when you buy a Synology Now system, a lot of the money you spend for every 100 quid that you spend, chances are 60 to 70 quid of that has gone towards the software rather than the hardware. They update the software regularly and very much in the aesthetic of Apple, they do promote their platform in terms of ease and utility more than any other brand. That's kind of the big market they're going for. And therefore, when you're buying a Synology product, uh, product do know that you are spending more your, on the software than the hardware. And they do get a lot more out of that hardware, but you have to bear that in mind overall. It's very much a comparison that I make here on the channel quite a lot that Synology is kind of the console gamer uh, of the market when a lot of the other brands are PC gamer. They are very much the platform that goes, look, we are telling you this is exactly what it can do and your Synology experience will be the same. We will promise you to give you this great standard, but you can't tweak it that much. You can't configure it that much. You need to do things its way. And you are paying a little bit more for a system that will give you a very fluid, slick although slightly less customizable experience than most. Reason number two that you should know, a thing that you should know before you buy Synology now system, is that they do favor their own hardware a great deal more than third party. If you are looking to do upgrades, if you are looking to install network interface cards, if you're looking to install SSDs, if you're looking to install memory upgrades, know that Synology do favor their own hardware first. They do even have that range of SSDs as well that we're seeing appearing more and more on their compatibility list. And although they do support a number of third-party um, accessories in terms of network interface cards from Intel and Mellanex, uh, obviously hard drives they don't produce themselves, so they support WD and Seagate and companies like that, and SSDs as well. As they release more and more of their own hardware, we are seeing them prioritize their own hardware understandably so they have bench tested it to hell and they've utilized it and designed it parallel to their now systems in a number of cases so you can see a lot of the reason they would do that but if you are looking to use a lot of your own third-party hardware installed inside a Synology now system then you may see often that their compatibility lists may be a touch hesitant to you know back you up on getting that stuff and of course we've discussed here on the channel when it comes here to installing uh, memory inside of Synology NAS they are pretty much blanket we will only recommend our own memory as far as Synology are concerned and a lot of that is to do with that support they're not saying that it's necessarily bad they are saying that you are using an unsupported system and therefore they can't provide you support on an unsupported configuration. So it's kind of understandable, but it's something you should know before buying a Synology NAS. The third thing you should know uh, about the system, and it's kind of in line with that first point about it being a 60-40 hardware versus software setup, is generally Synology systems will cost you more. There's lots of things that that money is trickled down into to do with, say, extended warranty. They generally have longer warranties on their systems than a number of other brands, but also just generally, 
the price tag you pay if you are buying this system for its hardware and you're going to use a lot of third-party software like your own uh you know uh, uh microsoft systems you can be using your office 365 or g suite and stuff like that if you are using your own setup and therefore you are buying this system more for its hardware than its software you are going to be in, in up spending more overall like for like whenever you see systems have got the same hardware in a synology compared to say a qnap or an asus store or some of the more enterprise level stuff going higher up the ladder you do find that a Synology will cost you more for the hardware. So do bear that in mind. If you're going down the road of buying NAS, you're going to spend more on a Synology for that hardware. The fourth thing that you know about Synology as a brand is they are very, very aware of the power of their marketing. Again, this comes a lot of it down to that Apple rhetoric. They, um, they're very, very conscious of having a certain image and when it comes to their year-on-year -year, uh, launch events, which are always a delight to look at because the amount of hardware and software that gets shown, they talk a lot about the power of their brand, they talk a lot about a uh, number of units deployed, number of applications deployed, they talk in, in terms of global share, they are very aware of the power of their own brand and that can often be um, you know a double-edged sword for a number of users because a number of people will be less inclined towards that it's one of the big arguments that a lot of android users have towards um, apple devices because they think it's a lot of brand rhetoric a lot of smoke and mirrors but at the same time a more brand aware um, nas uh, producer will be very conscious of the power of the consumer and you do see that time and time again with Synology's um, interactions with end users, both at the high business level and home user level. You see a lot of positive interactions there, and a lot of that comes from that brand awareness that Synology have. So it's not really a criticism, it's more about knowing who you are dealing with as a brand when you are buying hardware from a producer. And the last thing you should be aware of is that Synology is incredibly focused towards network and internet access. Whenever we've done unboxings, whenever we've done comparisons, whenever we've talked about Synology, you'll always notice there is almost never an HDMI port, only in a few very rare exceptions uh, of surveillance devices. You never see an HDMI out on these devices. You never see direct attached storage access like a USB that can be utilized for DAS like you've seen on some QNAP platforms. Same with Thunderbolt as well. There is no Thunderbolt on these systems. They have integrated 10GBE more and more. This is the Synology DS1621XS uh, Plus, very recently released in terms of when this video is being made at least. And, you know, 10GBE is only something we're gradually seeing coming into uh, the desktop market from them, although it's been there in the rack mount for a while. But they are a brand that is incredibly focused on access via the network and the internet with almost no quarter given to the likes of local access or direct access. There's no lcd panels there on the front to give you real-time information we're seeing more and more phasing out of physical um, usb copy buttons there it is a system uh, the remote control for a, a little while they dabbled with the idea of remote controls uh, with their system for multimedia they abandoned that very quickly indeed they are a company that is incredibly focused on network and internet access and you know sometimes to their credit that does work out very, very well with regards to that caching in the background and things being incredibly fluid there. And again, that comes back to that uh, rhetoric and design. Synology is still one of my favorite brands. And don't walk away from this video thinking, my God, he's saying they're terrible. I'm not saying that. I'm saying that when you buy um, a Synology NAS, and again, we will be talking about all the brands, that you need to know what you're buying. So just be very aware that Synology are very much the corporate option for a number of you out there. It is a good thing. A number of people prefer hotels to guest houses. It's just one of those things. But this has been Synology Nas before you buy. If there's something I've missed, do let me know in the comments. I'll try and do a follow-up to this next year in case things change. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching. Click like if you want to learn more. Click subscribe um, it, uh, you know, to be abreast of all these videos that are coming. It helps me understand what you guys like in these and I can make more of these. Maybe this is going to be a running series. Let's find out. Otherwise, visit NASCompares, visit Span.com, and I'll see you on the next video.